Uh, Russell, Where's welcome. It? It's lovely to see you here. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we sat down and watched the film, and you just sat down here and said, did I manage to get a tear out of you? And yes, yes. you did. There were extraordinary us. scenes throughout. But for you, um, uh, inspired by just one line, one line in a letter. One, a, a line from a, a man called Lieutenant Colonel Cyril Hughes, who was in charge of the Imperial War Graves Unit. First time in the history of, the, of any sort of British military situation where, because it had been such a public war, because they had, you know, used the sort of public to drive young men to volunteer for service, they couldn't just do what they used to do, which is dig a big hole and shove everything dead, horses, mules and men in the hole. Now they, you know, felt the, the responsibility to people to actually mark the graves. And Cyril Hughes was put in charge of that first for Australians and New Zealanders. But he was a civil engineer in his normal life. And then he went on to do the grave sites for both the British and the French as well. Mm. Uh, he wrote to a guy called C.W. Bean, who had been on at Gallipoli, and, and he was an historian. And the line from the letter was, one old chap managed to get here from Australia today, looking for his son's grave. We looked after him as best we could, and we put him on a boat to Brindisi. How much did you rely on your intuition when you were filming? Because I think it's a really integral oh, part of the film. a lot. And I think it's one, it's one of those things. You know, intuition is in all of us, and we use it every day, you know? And, you know, sometimes I'll be talking to uh, a woman about this, and I go, how many times in your life have you known a boyfriend is not doing what you want him oh, to do? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm and you're going to have a little chat <laughs> when yeah. he gets home. You know, yeah, that's, yeah. A very, that's a simple version of it.